Jimmy, a good 1 0 win today here against Chorlane. You must be absolutely delighted. Yeah, absolutely delighted. If, uh, if every one of your teams beats somebody sat top of the league, you've got to be, you've got to be uh, over the moon. Fantastic Saturday for everyone. Uh, you cancelled training on Thursday with a bit of illness. Did, obviously, you got the win today, but did it affect your preparations from how you normally do? Um, yesterday was an absolute chaotic day. Uh, Liam Castle, obviously, the goalie. Uh, rang in with a bit of a cold, bit of a flu, thigh strain, can't play. Um, we tried to bring Max back, we did that, thank Gresley for letting him come back, uh, only to find out that um, we hadn't signed Max in time for him to play today. Brought Mikey back from Arbor, um and then Liam's come in and said, look, I can stand in goals if somebody can take the goal kicks, and um, I think Shaw Lane for half hour was wondering why the hell our centre-half was taking all the goal kicks, but it, by the time we'd got in a put all in the game stands goal kicks are fantastic anyway so you don't find that much loyalty and commitment uh, around you've got a lot of that with your squad in general you must be delighted yeah normally if I, if I get a player that plays for me the, um, I'll look after them very well uh, and all I ask back is sort of like respect and, and, and respect for the club and all, 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 everybody at Farwell um, I mean today the, the lads at the back look colossal uh, middle of the park, we've had loads of energy. Big Perry up front, Stenson picking up man of the match. Delighted for Stenner, uh, young kid learning his trade. Uh, it must be a pleasure to have someone like Perry to play with. The compliments to Matt Stenson there. I think Jake Heath did quite well today as well. How pleased have you been with him since you brought him in? Brilliant. It's, uh, it's great football, isn't it? It was at Stafford Rangers, not getting a game, not even getting in the 16. Uh, I've known Jake for a couple of years, he's football at Sutton and, and Stafford. And, uh, I've always think the kid's got energy, passes the ball very well, takes a good set piece. Uh, he's crashed his free kick against the crossbar, covered lots of ground, opened play up for the for the winner. Um, and I just think he's getting better week by week, um, and he's complementing Nigel very well. Both 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 look a good partnership. We've not seen Ethan Delaney since the Marine game earlier in the season. Could you give us a bit of an update on him? Ethan just said that he went to see a chiropractor, and he's back and he's growing. Um, are in a bad place, so basically he just said, "Can he go and play locally?" Uh, he just needed a rest and just go and play with his mates just to get some football and see if it, it, it worked. He knew he couldn't play at this level, so pat Ethan on the back and he's he, he popped off, mate. Got uh, Declan Towers out now for the next three games. How big a miss is he going to be for you? Well, again, I don't, I don't, I don't think anybody anybody gives us a lot of credit, do they? But um, I think I've got a good goalkeeper. Been here for 10 years, 11 years. I think Craig Stanley and Michael Tynes are an unbelievable partnership. I think Deck Towers is a centre half that can go right back home into the park. Deck Towers is brilliant. Eddie at the back. Um, yeah, it'd be a miss to have Deck because I thought that back four performance was brilliant today. Clean sheet. I asked for a clean sheet. I said I've got four good defenders. Um, but the good news is we've got young Elliot Percival. Hopefully, he's, um, he's gash on his leg from the Whitby. He's been in the hospital. We'll have Elliot back or Jake Whitmore or. You know, one of them two will probably drop in Tuesday night. You've got Liam Kay as well, who's often unavailable on a Saturday. Is that a frustrating one for you? No, because the understanding with Liam is his manager at TK Max. Uh, at one point, we was talking about just saying to him, forget it, because um, it's too messy. Um, but I slept on it and I thought to myself, what a, what a player to have if the short or got somebody missing and Liam Kay. And at the moment, we're into 15, 16 games and he's filled in. Uh, every time we've been short and, and, and been fantastic, so I'm happy with the way Liam came myself in relationship. Uh, game's coming thick and fast Tuesday away at Russian Olympic, another team we've played twice already. Are you expecting a tough game there? Yeah, it always is. Always, it's always a tough place to go. We've got a bit of, bit of track record between the two of us. It will be a tough game. Every game in the league's tough, like Shore Lane. And they came here today banging them, punching walls and bouncing around, music on. You know, they, they've sort of like probably. Um, not give us the respect that we should have should have given us, and um, you can't you can't take anybody lightly in this league, and, and we certainly won't go to Russia and take it light because no doubt it's Saturday now. Get to Tuesday, I'll probably have two or three missing. So you've got nine. I think we've got a total of nine games in the month of October. Is that difficult for you and your staff to manage? It's always difficult, mate, because like you say, Thursday um, I'm at work, and I've had seven, eight, nine, ten texts that everybody's struggling, can't get there tonight, bumped up, flewed up. Um, you know, there's a bit of chicken pops floating around. Uh, we, we just thought first is best thing to do is just re rest and relax, and let everybody do your own thing. 
Um, but it's not the answer because the week before we, we lost 1 0. So, you know, we just had a bit of fun in there saying Thursday's off, be great we, if we save our own energy for Saturday, but that's, no, that's not the answer. Well, great, great win today, well done. Can I just say on, on record there, thank you very much, Nathan, for these new tops for the lads. There it is, Nathan. Commercial flooring. Hope well. Thank you very much. Cheers, Jim.